Hi, sweet boy. Recently, one of my posts went semi-viral on Instagram. I think it popped up in like people's like discover page or whatever. And I've gotten a ton of new followers. That's great. But then that post was about one of my lost families. And while I got so many positive, happy, supportive comments, what are the ones that stick out? Those kind. And although there wasn't a ton of them, I still got them. And then I got some in my inbox too. And I, I totally understand the more people you have following you, the more you open yourself up to people disagree with you. But this is a hill I will literally never back down from. My baby, the babies I post about, do not ever need a trigger warning, ever. It takes tremendous courage and strength to share about your babies that were, you know, gone too soon from stillbirth, miscarriage, infant loss, whatever. It takes so much courage to share about those. And for me, that should never include a warning about what is to come. Life is full of trigger warnings. Bad stuff happens in life and it sucks. But we don't walk around asking for trigger warnings on everything. You know, should I not photograph families of who have five kids because I have five kids, but one of them's in, you know, watches over us from above. Should I not photograph them because them having five living kids is triggering? No, of course not. That's the same thing people are asking me to do when I share photos of my baby who was gone too soon or the families that I lost families that I share their photos for. If you choose to put a trigger warning on your own photo, that is fine. That's your choice. But life is about choices and it's my choice on my page here and any other page that I run, I will not have a trigger warning at all because my baby doesn't deserve one. I don't put a trigger warning on when I post my living children. I'm not gonna put one, put one on where I post my dead child. I'm not. I'm proud as hell of him. I'm proud of the impact he has made. And no one should be triggered by that. It's, it's amazing, the legacy he's left. And to put a trigger warning to attach to that, that sometime, you know, somehow insinuates something negative is in the post, nope. So if you are commenters like this stuff, stop, hard stop. If you don't like it, scroll past it. Don't follow me, unfollow me, it's fine. But please, please, please never ever come on my post or in my DMs and tell me I should be adding trigger warnings because they're not going to happen. And you're just going to piss me off and make me have <laughs> more of these videos calling you out. So thank you for coming to my TED Talk.